Well, Northeast Ohio is ready to help people who have been impacted by Hurricane Adalia and its devastation. New this morning, our reporter Remy Murray shows us what two groups are doing and how you can help. Operation Nehemiah's network is in full effect. It's always been my desire. I'm, I'm a people person. I, uh, I want to help people. To help those who are dealing with the aftermath of Hurricane Idalia in Florida, Georgia, and the Carolinas. I know what it is to be down and out. I know what people have uh, had to struggle, and I know that uh, I would want people to help me. Lugging pallets of diapers, food, and water from this truck and into their warehouse. That's the idea of the warehouse. We store up food here and supplies for the hard times. Pastor Allen Jenkins says they plan to send their first shipment of supplies to people in Florida sometime this week. If they get enough items, Jenkins hopes they can eventually serve those in Georgia and the Carolinas. But first, he says they need the community support. But those people are still suffering and they still have needs. And we are an ongoing, continual disaster relief ministry. Jenkins tells me Nehemiah's network has been providing disaster relief for more than 10 years to give hope when all has been lost. I can't imagine at my age, I'm almost 70, I can't imagine losing everything and then having to start all over again. Uh, I don't know if I could, but I want to be a helping hand to try to help people who are in those positions. Aside from Nehemiah's network, Westlake Police Department needs help collecting similar items like diapers, clothes, water, and non-perishable food items. They're accepting donations for the next three weeks and you can place them in their lobby. We help load up the trucks and get them on their way. and. It, and if something happened here, we would hope someone else would be in that position to help us out too. Nehemiah's network needs your donations by this week. You can head to our website at News 5 Cleveland for a complete list of what is needed and where you can drop off those supplies. One of the greatest things that I think is still here is the spirit to help people. For News 5, I'm Remy Murray reporting.